Now, the next thing that we need to do is make an audience out of our Shopify customers. So we head on over to audience, lists and segments, create new segment. Now, give it a recognizable name. Shopify customers, no purchase in the last 30 days. Now we need to set up our segment definition. So to do that, we find properties about someone. Over here, we find Shopify. Now we want to scroll down to make sure they have an ID and then has any value. So this is just telling us that the 402 customers we have in here, they have a Shopify ID. So we know that they've come from Shopify. So now we need to set up the second part of this. So click add new condition, something was or was not done. Select event and choose order fulfilled. And on here, you do zero times. And for the time frame, you select in the last and then type in 30 days. So now we know our 398 people have come from Shopify and they haven't fulfilled any orders in the last 30 days. Now there's one final bit that we need to add to this segment, which is that they've given permission to opt in on the channel we're gonna message them on. So add a new condition. Properties about someone. Find the subscription status, so SMS, email, WhatsApp. We're gonna send them an email today. So let's choose email and then is subscribed. You can also layer these on top of each other. So you could create a segment for people where you've got an email subscription and a WhatsApp subscription and an SMS subscription, or you can create separate ones. Now just click save segment. Great, now we've got our segment set up so that we can actually send our campaign to people.